For the stairs, we're going to have to uh, create a brand new layer called A floor vert. We're going to be using A floor vert uh, for all of our vertical transitions between each floor. So go to the layers tab, create a brand new layer, caps lock on, A floor vert. That layer is going to be yellow. And we're going to be drawing all of our stairs and our handrails on that layer. The text of our uh, stairs as well as the multi-leader showing the direction uh, always is in the A anno text. So we already have that one created. We just need to create our stairs and then we'll work with the multi-leader. So we're going to start off with the line tool. Um, it says that our stairs start uh, three feet, eight and five eighths of an inch down from this corner. So again, I had mouse over the end point, move my mouse out, and then type in three feet, uh, eight and five eighths of an inch. And what that does is it starts my line away from the corner uh, that far. I'm just going to go all the way up. Uh, once I create my first step, I'm going to then use the same offset of 10 inches, and then I'll put in my handrails and trim out the in-between stuff in a little bit. So uh, counting on our document, we're going to have uh, one, two, three, four, five offsets, and then we'll trim up some of them to look a little different. Each of those offsets are going to be 10 inches in length. Um, it would be nice if we had the uh, array command, right? because then I can just array those over. Uh, but we're just going to have to offset them 10 inches each time. We want a total of one, two, three, four, five, six vertical lines. So I've got four, five, and six vertical lines. All right, so um, now we need to get to the inside and we want to have a handrail in there. Uh, to get to the middle, I'm just going to draw myself a nice line from the midpoint of this stairwell over here to where it disconnects. Um, in fact, I'm going to draw all the way through and I'm going to come beyond this line here uh, approximately I don't know, it doesn't matter. It looks like eight foot six looks good compared to our uh, actual stairs. All right, since the inside is five and three quarters of an inch uh, wide between the two, I need to do some quick math. All right, so five divided by two is two and a half. Three quarters divided by two is three eighths. Three eighths and a half is seven eighths. So we're looking at two and seven eighths up, two and seven eighths down. So I'm going to offset this line here up. Uh, two and seven eighths, and then I'm gonna offset it down two and seven eighths. Now that gives me the insides of our handrails. In reading the text, we find that our handrails themselves are one and a half inches in width. So we're gonna offset away from the center one and a half inches. All right, now uh, my guide, or not my guide, but my handrail end uh, tells me in the book stops three and three feet, one and a half inches in from this edge here. So I'm gonna draw a line, again, starting here, but not really, move it over, three feet, 1.5, and I'll just draw that one straight down. I can now trim off the outsides of here, offset this toward the inside by one and a half, and then either fill it or trim up my corners. I think trim's fairly easy. All right, now our stairs don't go in beyond our handrails themselves, so we wanna trim those up. And then also every one of these little ones inside of our handrail as well. All right, um, I'm just gonna close off the end of this upper handrail. And down on the bottom, you'll see that diagonal line. That line is drawn at a 30 degree increment, so 30 degrees above vertical. So that's really gonna be 90 plus 30 or 120. And it starts approximately in here, and it comes up to where it's 30 degrees above. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my O-Track settings sorry, my polar settings, to every 30 degree increment. 
And so when I come up 30 degrees beyond, I get this little tick. And it looks like it comes up just a little bit above our handrail. That's going to be a brake line. Everything beyond that is broken. And so I'm just going to trim those objects off. All right, the next thing that we want is to create our uh, different stairs here around the corner. I know that I'm going to have one starting at the midpoint of this line. And it's going to come all the way over. And if I count the stairs in addition to that one, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five total lines. Uh, but if I do some math, and I'm going to have two more additional ones in here. Well, that's going to be splitting up this 90 degree corner into three increments. 90 divided by 3 is 30 degrees. So I'm going to have these lines here drawn at 30 degrees. But where do they terminate? If you look closely, right, each of our stairs, this one, this one, and this one, they all would intersect at a point right here. So I'm going to draw myself a nice little temporary line from those two endpoints. And that point I was talking about would be the midpoint of that line. That means that I can draw a line from that midpoint, I'll turn my O snap settings to midpoints on, out 30 degrees. I'm going to draw another one out 30 degrees. Draw another one down this 30 degree increment, and another one down here. I'm going to now just trim and extend these lines, and then get rid of that stuff on the inside. That's how you draw the stairs. Now we just need to annotate them. To annotate our stairs, we want to switch to the A annotext layer. And we're going to annotate with a multi-leader. On this multi-leader, we need to change our uh, options of it. We want to have four leader points. Um, that way we can have one start here, second one come over, third one come up, and then the fourth one terminates somewhere over here. Now, I'm very picky on these. I want them to be exactly in the middle of this stuff. And so what I'm gonna do is in my A -N -O text layer, I'm gonna draw myself some reference lines. So I'm gonna draw a line from this diagonal to there. What that'll do is at the midpoints of those lines, I can then have uh, a grip point of my multi-leader. Also, I'm going to want my multi-leader from this bottom edge to come out approximately almost touching here. Maybe we'll go 4 feet 10 inches. That'd be a nice little start point. And then this last one, I'm going to want it to come out beyond our uh, last stair and maybe in line with this endpoint so I can bring up a little extension. All right, so these will be temporary. I'm going to put in my multi-leader now. So annotate, multi-leader. Again, change those options. Uh, we want to do max points. Change that to four. Now when we do our multi-leader, I'm going to start it at this endpoint. So leader type, straight, exit our options. First point here second point there, third point here, fourth point there. Now I don't want to put in any text just yet. We're going to leave it blank. Hit the check mark. I have those lines that are hiding in here. Remember your blue fence deletes anything that it fully surrounds. It would only be that line. Delete these two here as well. Okay. Now our text, so we can read it, um, if I typed in my text of a multi-leader, it would have shown up over here. But what I really want is that text to show up up here saying stare up. So we need to go back to our properties. We have our um, text being the simplest six. That actually might be a good size. Let's go ahead and try that. So multi-line text, draw yourself a little window. Keep it on six and let's type in stare up. 
hit our green check mark. And that actually looks really good. Let's go ahead and move those to where we don't have too many of our lines of text being intersected. And we'll call that a day. Do the same thing for your first floor and second floor stairs. You're also going to be adding in some stairs here in your basement as well as your first floor. Good luck. One thing that you're going to want to do is have your multi-leader style be the multi-leader style 6. Uh, that's going to match and look up nice look nicely compared with our text. So if you've already placed in your multi-leader style and it wasn't the right size, just highlight it as I just did and change your multi-leader style to ML6. Here's a look at our basement floor plan with our two sets of stairs. Uh, one going up to the foyer and one up to the mudroom. Uh, here is the same two sets of stairs in our first floor floor plan. And then up in our second floor, we have um, the same set of stairs coming up from that first floor.